yes, actually, this is the instrument that I just got. No, it's not by King 3B F, which looks basically the same, and as we'll find out, is largely the same. This is a King 607 F. Um, I'm not even sure if the F is necessary because I think all of these 607, 608, and I think the 609 models have an F attachment, so I'm not sure if you have to put the F on. The Namagutsura is very indistinct, and I think they actually stopped making these very recently, so it also doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, this is the King, kind of like student intermediate model, 525 instrument, kind of a step up instrument as they call them. It's larger and has more features than a student model, 500 bore straight trombone, but it's not the full fat professional model in very few ways. This is basically just a professional trombone with a couple very small changes. So let's go over the differences. First of all, this is 525, and of course the standard King 3B is 508. However, there's also the King 3B Plus, which is also 525. So in that regard, not different at all. But the slide itself has different uh, construction. They use different parts from most of the hand grip area. Um, of course, mine is not completely stocked with this lead pipe. But you can see it doesn't have this kind of tapered piece right here. The ferrules are different. Um, uh, King, uh, the pro model grips are just lacquered uh, nickel. I don't think there's anything sp like special about them. And I think these might be chrome plated. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but it is different. The slide grip assembly is all different parts. However, the tubes, um, pretty much the same. Again, the hand grip for the right hand, also different. Uh, but it's the same uh, outer, nickel outers and a nickel crook. Are they brass crooks? I think they're brass crooks. Man, I have, I have no idea actually, because the lacquer covers everything up. The lacquer colors everything. Um, the slide parts are all the same. Then you notice, of course, all the Pro Kings have the curved slide brace right by my eyes there. And the not Pro Kings do not get the curved slide brace. And then the rest of the trombone after that is just a Pro King 3B F. Yes, it does look different than mine, but that's because mine is a 3B concert from the 70s. It's kind of an early 3B F, um, and the early models, like mine, have this 90 degree bend here that just goes straight back, etc. They have a little bit smaller valve. This is the original 3B F, and the more modern 3B F slash 608 has this forward-facing wrap, much like the King 4B, 5B, and 6B, um, and has a larger valve, plus string linkage instead of the mechanical, kind of like plastic Delrin piece. I don't even know what it is on these. So just a couple small differences. It's just kind of an update um, over the original, but the, the parts are all the exact same as the Pro model there. And after that, the tuning slides, interchangeable. The bells, exactly the same. I have this semi-confirmed from a friend of mine who has worked with a lot of instrument manufacturers that all of the king bells go down the exact same uh, line of manufacture and at the end some of them get stamped with 607 and some of them get stamped with 3b and that's the only difference i'm not entirely sure how true that is this does feel heavier than my 3b and i can't tell if that's a bell weight difference of course these are made like 20 30 years apart so who knows how much is just variances in manufacturing over decades um, but they're pretty much the same what this is is kind of a cheap king 3b plus with f attachment of course 3b plus has the 525 slide and uh, I, the reason i got it is because very very cheap nobody values these at any kind of money. Yes, there's a few on eBay for like 1200 bucks. They're never gonna get sold for that much. Um, they just, they really garner very little cash. Um, so that makes it kind of hard to resell um, for myself, but it's a very small investment in the first place. And I have some cool plans for this. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I've played a student's, um, somebody watches this channel actually, I played his and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty gosh darn good. 
Um, it's similar in a lot of ways to my 3B, but just a little larger sound, a little easier down low, um, both because of the larger slide and the larger valve. Just kind of makes it easier to make a larger sound down there, start notes um, more easily. It's a little less resonant. It's got some of that kind of intermediate slash student horn dullness to it. I have a feeling, I have a hope I should say, that a lot of that is the lead pipe. Usually the lead pipes in student uh, models and some intermediate models are kind of restrictive or very thick and that kind of makes the horns easier to play with kind of like less air, um, kind of worse chops, etc. Um, but I'm going to try and find a Shires 2 525 lead pipe and replace it and see if this really lights up. Right now, I, I like how it plays, I like how it sounds, but I don't love either one of those things. And when I go back and forth with my 3BF, the 3B has a bit smaller sound, it plays a little bit easier, and it's a lot more resonant. There's a lot more sound just kind of filling the space as opposed to just kind of, just kind of coming out of the bell. And I really want this to be cool. Um, I also, and this is more of a pipe dream than anything, I would love to find a 3B Silver Sonic Bell, because of course it's all the same size, and put that on here. So I have a Silver Sonic 607F for kind of no reason. I don't, I don't know what I would use that for, even if it would be useful. Um, but yeah, very excited about this. It came to me very dirty, um, but despite this slide having a couple of like third position dents from the bell, um, you know, it's been used by a student. There's lots of like scrapes and stuff on the bell. I'm sure there was a wire on here at some point. It's actually in quite good shape. The rotor cleaned up very well. All the slides move, but they're not super loose. They're not super tight. That was a little tight. Um, and it feels good in the hands. Uh, as for now, I might try it out at Disneyland. Uh, it plays just a little bit worse than the 3B, so I'm not sure if that's really worth taking there and kind of struggling with for a day. But I'm going to spend some more time on it because I've only had it for a couple hours. Also, this is what I bought my Doug Elliott mouthpiece for, one of the instruments I bought it for, and it is a great match. It's nice having something I could just plug in and play, and I'm not dealing with too small of a rim or too shallow of a cup like my 3B mouthpiece. It is a very good match. So King 607F, not the most exciting instrument of all time. I'm sure some of you actually have them or have played them in the past, but just a nice kind of like beater, medium trombone. I'm actually gonna go teach with this tomorrow. Uh, I always take a trombone with me, and this kind of perfect for that. Nice low investment. That's all I've got. Uh, hopefully, updates to this soon and other stuff coming up. That's all I got. Bye bye.